Happy birthday, Williams Lake. Well, now, as you just heard from our own mayor, Williams Lake has come a long way in the 85 years. But one of the reasons why we've accomplished so much is because of our strong focus on education, reading at home, as well as at school. It's not the first place you'd imagine a book drive to take place, but at Heartland Toyota in Williams Lake, all is not what it seems to be. In fact, not all the cars displayed in the showroom are for sale. Toyota has been involved with literacy for a number of years. We came to them because we needed a way to get the books. If we were going to have a lot of books donated, especially from the schools, we needed a way to get them to our storage place and to our community living. So we thought, why not uh, Toyota? The bright red bookshelf is an idea that came to fruition in 2009. And for community literacy coordinator Lil Mack, combining books, reading and children was a dream come true. In my former life I was a public librarian. Yeah, so I'm, I'm always interested in, in joining kids in books. To me, um, books, reading, education are the foundations of uh, a, a healthy society. So the earlier we can start, um, the better we all will be. Spearheaded by the local Partners for Literacy, the program is all about donating and recirculating gently used children's books, all at one location, the bright red bookshelves scattered around the city. At the beginning, people were a little bit reluctant to take a book home. Mm -hmm. They thought maybe they should just read it at the, uh, at the bookshelf station. Um, we've always had a lot of donations, so that part has not been a problem. Sometimes people want to take more books, and that's okay too. We usually say one book per, per child, but if a, ch if a child has no books at home, why start at one? It was designed to be as easy as one, two, three, so that the fun and importance of reading are not lost within the process. Often when kids are coming, for example, to the arena and one child is going to play, the other child will often head straight for the bookshelf. So that's a good thing, you know, they know that that's where they can get books, they can read while their mom or dad uh, are watching the child on the rink. So, I, I mean, I think that, and when you see uh, or hear uh, a dad saying, go get a book and we'll read a story. That's positive. You know, so small steps, small steps, and that's, that's great. But the program attributes much of their success to the volunteers, more specifically, the generous people at Community Living. We look for books that look relatively new, anything that is torn, ripped, we don't put on the shelves. We want it to look like a book we would give our own kids. Um, each book receives a red bookshelf sticker on the front and a Partners for Literacy sticker on the back. That's our final, that's our final step to say that it's ready for the shelf. I called on Community Living uh, when we first started and they were excited about doing it. It gives, uh, it gives a nice balance to the program. Uh, we need uh, volunteers to make sure that the books are properly processed and washed and they see the importance of this and I think that it's great that it's um, a cohesive group. It's not just a couple of volunteers from this part to this part. So they have the facility, they've got all the tools they need, they've got the people. So it, to me it's a natural fit. Although the program has received great feedback and support, there's still a long journey ahead. There's a deep hole that we need to fill with books. The, the idea is that all the books will be recirculating. People will read them, take them home, bring them back, take another one, read them, bring them, and even bring some from home. So that, hopefully, in the future, it'll be self-sustaining. Right now, we do have to add books to it. That's part of what we do. If you have any unwanted books or are looking for some great books to take home to the children, stop by the bright red bookshelf located all over the city. For Gull Williams Lake, I'm Christina Jung.